Microsoft Oceans, released in 1995. This is an educational piece of software, part of the Microsoft Exploration series, where you explore the mysterious world of the deep. Now this isn't a game, but I do like to check out some of these uh, weird software things now and again. But honestly, I can't think of any way I can make this video fun or entertaining. But I'm going to tell you about it anyway. So, we have a pretty nice 1995 presentation here. The variety of subjects you pick from, link down to further subjects, and get more detailed and specific as you go along. So here we'll click on marine life, then we'll choose mammals, then we'll pick the sea otter. And you'll be linked to various subjects relating to otters, such as otters being killed for their coats in history. And did you know otters actually use tools? This little video here shows them in action. Mmm, shellfish, an otter's favorite meal. Just pick up a rock with your dinner and then hammer away. It takes a strong stomach to eat like this. So that's some pretty great presentation here, I think. Yay. Oh, hi there, little bird. And there's some great info on here. I got to learn about some creatures I didn't know much about. You got to learn about creatures who use camouflage. And, you know, I seen some things I was generally interested in. You know, those uh, really spooky looking deep sea fishes. I mean, yeah, that's uh, something I wanted to check out. And it is terrifying to know that these things are real. Ugh. And the information on here is really wide. Uh, it talks about sea myths such as mermaids, uh, sea monsters, treasure hunting, navigation, just pretty much anything uh, ocean related is here. Now if you don't like digging through screens of info, Microsoft added a sailing adventure for you. You pick a companion and they will present the information to you in a fun sea adventure story. Hi, I'm Kim. Ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamed of sailing around the world alone. Now, I'm actually going to try it on my 30-foot sloop, the Serafina. After eight days in the doldrums, I finally made the southeast trade winds, and I'm moving again. Something on the horizon. An island? It's coming closer. That's no island. It's a water spout. And a big one. So I guess this adds some excitement to your learning, I guess, I suppose, it does. Now having different characters with their own personalities was a fantastic idea. It livens it up a little and it does help give new perspectives in certain subjects, like this alien guy. I understand I was extremely fortunate to obtain this image. These attractive beings are very rare and quite shy. So, uh, there is some pretty great stuff on here actually. Here's a few extras like uh, photo galleries and screensavers. But overall, I think it was a good presentation. Uh, an attempt to make it fun with the sailor adventures. Videos to watch, uh, a simple to use interface. But of course, the most important is the great info. This is definitely going to teach you a thing or two. Now, if I was to complain about a few things, uh, more photos and videos would have been good. Some deeper examination of some subjects I would have liked. But obviously, this was restrained from the technical limitations of the time. Now this program here isn't anything to go out of your way to check out, obviously. I mean, the internet has pretty much replaced this thing. But if anything, uh, today this program has value in the sense that it's an interesting look back at the early years in Microsoft history. So there you have it, Microsoft Oceans. Thanks for watching.